literally a leaf in my hair right now from that branch <laughs> hello you guys welcome back to another vlog it's friday morning 11 30 i just got myself a starbucks my friend tina actually gave me she's so cute she gave me a card like a happy fall card and a starbucks gift card i'm like she is one of the greatest friends i've ever had she's so sweet we went to dinner together the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have anything for you. Like whenever someone gets me something, I'm like, I need to get something for you or pay you back in some sort of way. I always just wanna let people know, like I appreciate it so much. And that just meant so much to me. The card she got me was so cute. It was like a happy Thanksgiving card, but she crossed out Thanksgiving and wrote fall. She's so cute like that and so thoughtful. So I treated myself to a little Starbucks this morning on her if you're watching this, I love you. Boy, have I had a very stressful past couple of days oh my gosh so if you saw my tiktok my instagrams got hacked and i really wish i could reverse time because i feel so stupid i got some emails that looked so real from instagram like i can't even tell you how real they looked and they said that my like two of my reels were copyrighted which i've gotten emails like that before from instagram and you have to appeal it whatever so i clicked on the link that was like appeal now and I'm so dumb because it made me put in my phone number and my email and that's how both of my accounts got hacked. Literally my main Instagram and then like my wellness Instagram. And I don't, like that should have been my first thought was like the fact that it's both of them at the same time. I don't know what was going through my head or why I even fell for that email. Yesterday was such an awful day. I was crying all day. I went to the police station with my mom like it was just this whole big ordeal the reason I'm taking this so seriously is because it's my job and like Instagram is my whole career basically like a big chunk of my career and I have campaigns that I need to be posting and just like it's messing up my whole work schedule and it's throwing me off and it's really just complicating things and I've been emailing back and forth with the person who hacked my accounts like all day and I'm like trying to get on their good side and I'm like maybe they'll just give me the accounts back because they're asking me for three thousand dollars which is insane at first I was like contemplating on whether or not to just give it to them because I was so scared that I wouldn't get my accounts back so when I went to the police station I'm like these people are probably laughing at me but they were saying that it happens all the time and they have this whole IT department that's supposedly gonna get in contact with Instagram or at least try to because Instagram support absolutely sucks like I've tried everything to get back into my account and I can't it's impossible they changed the two-factor authentication backup codes like literally everything so I cannot get in my account and it's really really taking a toll on me. I was gonna start a vlog yesterday and then that happened, completely turned around my day. I literally spent the entire day crying and just trying to fix this because, like I said, it's my job. I have campaigns I need to be posting and I'm like emailing people that I'm currently working with and telling them and it's just so stressful. I'm like, this is the last thing that I need right now. I've already been stressed. I already have a lot on my plate and I'm like, I don't need to be dealing with this right now, but I blame myself because I'm the one who fell for the email. The weird and twisted thing about it is too, is that I'm an empath and I'm like, well, maybe this is like God's calling to me that I need to send someone money who needs help and like needs to better their life. I've literally been asking them just random questions like, how's your day going? Which sounds so weird since this person hacked my account and I'm like being nice to them and trying to ask them how their day was but i don't know so that's what's going on right now and i it's like i can't even do any work i can do my emails and stuff and i can do youtube but a lot of my campaigns that i've 
been working on and that I need to like send in for approval and stuff like that I can't even do anything so I woke up this morning did a meditation tried to calm myself down as much as possible and I was like you know what we're gonna go to Starbucks treat myself to a pumpkin chai it's Friday and then I figured we could go to the mall and look at anthropology because I saw that they have some of their Christmas stuff out which don't hate me I know fall just started but since I'm someone who preps for like the seasons pretty early like I started prepping for fall back in August and usually November is like Christmas time for me so it's already October they have like those really cute Christmas cups I tried to get them last year but they were all sold out so you need to hop on like the Christmas stuff and like the decorations pretty early so that's why I was thinking about it in my head I was like Let's just have a little morning to myself, try and make this day better. And I'm just trying to make the best of this situation because I had like a midlife crisis yesterday and I cannot be like that today. My head was spinning. And also vlogging just helps me get my mind off of things and it feels like I'm talking to all my friends. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna start a vlog. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, make sure you're subscribed. So let's go to the mall and try to make this situation better. guys it's literally six o'clock right now after I went to the mall I ended up going I got some gas and then I was right by my mom's house so I went over there we went for a walk and then we also got some lunch I took a little body shower at her house because it ended up being super humid outside and we both got super sweaty I felt disgusting so I took a shower at her house but I went to the mall like you guys saw I only got a few things from J. Crew, super random, but I went into anthropology and they didn't have the cups. I was so sad, but they already had a ton of Christmas stuff. I was shocked. They had ornaments, they had a bunch of candles. So I actually went on um, anthropology and ordered the candles because, I mean, not the candles, I ordered the cups because they had them in stock online. And it says they're on back order so if you want these cups i suggest you buy them pretty fast these are them if you have no idea what i'm talking about but they're just really cute they're like little juice glasses and they have like a snowman christmas tree candy cane like they're just so cute so i ordered a set of four of those i'm excited for those to come in the mail but at j crew i literally just got a hair clip and then this cute hair band that i'm wearing it's a tortoise just like a little plastic um, tortoise headband. I actually saw this on Instagram when I had my account at the time and I thought it was the cutest. I feel like it's just a nice way to get your hair out of your face. And then I love this like big chunky clip because my hair is super thick so I always need a bigger clip. I always have the MEJ ones in my hair and they do hold pretty well but I really liked this pattern so that's literally all I got at the mall. So random. Didn't see anything at Anthropology that I wanted. I was just really going in there for those Christmas cups. I still have no luck with my Instagram. In my mind, I'm like ready to just send this person money and have them give me my account back because this is just so aggravating and like I can't wait any longer. I have to be posting campaigns and everything and I have due dates for stuff like it's like I can't really mess around with this and then my other concern was like if I do send the money like how do I know they're gonna send me the account back and like give me the information to get back into my account and he ended up like sending me screenshots of him doing this to someone else and like um he showed me them sending the money and everything else and it just it sounds so twisted and obviously this is so wrong and I don't wish this upon anyone because this is not fun to deal with but part of me just like genuinely feels bad for this person if I can genuinely help someone and help their living situation of course I would want to do that it just sucks that it had to be this way and that I literally cannot get my Count back until I send this person money and it's just like oh my god it's just giving me such a headache I just want this all 
to be over honestly it's so stressful and aggravating but i keep looking at my headband because it's very cute and i think this is gonna be my new favorite hair accessory it's just a nice way to get your hair out of your face you know It's the next day. I just got back from Trader Joe's. I picked up a few groceries. I got the pumpkin O's because I haven't tried these yet. And every time I pass by them, I just want to eat them so bad. So I got a box of these. I got another bag of arugula for arugula salad. I got this cornbread mix, the gluten-free one, because I got the pumpkin mix and I made some muffins. So I want to try the cornbread ones now because I love cornbread. I got another bag of the mandarin orange chicken. This is so good. I know it's like not the best for you, but it's so yummy. I keep can't stop eating it and I already went through the other bag I got. Two avocados, which is why I even went this morning because I was like craving avocado toast and I don't have any avocados and they didn't have a super ripe one. So this is all we're working with. Some more bananas for smoothies. I got another jar of mayo because I want to make chicken salad today, but I don't know if I have enough mayo. So I got a jar of this. Lastly, just some orange juice. I was also craving this this morning. A very random and tiny Trader Joe's haul this morning. I also got another Starbucks. It's so good this morning. Trader Joe's was so crowded though. It's only 9.30. I got there at like 8:45. there were so many people there and i'm like oh it's gonna be quiet there's gonna be no one there it's saturday morning totally wrong it was so busy in there oh my gosh i was like having social anxiety i also feel like such a bum this is what i wore to the grocery store i literally jumped out of bed threw this on and that's how i went to the store my hair's a mess haven't showered didn't wash my face but Whatever, I literally don't even care. I'm literally just having a piece of sourdough with some butter. That's like all I want right now. And this bread is so yummy. If you see it at the grocery store, you need to try it. I actually like this more than the When Pigs Fly brand, their sourdough. This one is a lot better in my opinion. vlog happy sunday i feel like i've been so bad at vlogging in this vlog only because of the whole instagram thing has seriously been throwing me off for days and i actually got them back yesterday i'm so happy i feel so relieved right now i had the best sleep last night and i just i feel like such a huge weight is lifted off my shoulders and i ended up having to send this person money which I keep saying to myself, like, this could have been so much worse. This person could have been asking for an extreme amount of money, like $100,000. They could have messed with my accounts. They could have deleted my accounts. They could have deleted all my content, like, all my campaigns that I have. As much as the situation sucked, and I really wish I didn't have to spend that amount of money just to get into my own Instagram accounts, I just keep reminding myself that this could have been so much worse because I can't really look at it as a bad thing and I really try to make the best out of every situation in my life because it allows me to live a happy life, it allows me to not be so stressed all the time, so I just am really trying to make the best of the situation, but I'm back in my accounts, they're no longer hacked, I don't even know what I was just saying, I just, I'm having a brain fart right now, I don't even know what I was just saying. Um, I literally don't know what I was saying, oh my god. Oh yeah, the whole money thing, like, I don't even care at this point why the person needed the money, I just, I just keep saying to myself, if it truly was, like, for their family and they desperately needed money, then I'm glad I was able to help someone with that, because 
they didn't mess with my accounts I got them back like they said they would and they were actually like really nice I'm like laughing to myself because I was texting this person like on whatsapp because they were emailing me for the longest time and then my email was getting full I'm like I need to communicate with you on like whatsapp or something because this isn't working and it's just like so funny reading the conversation because we sound like we're like best friends and then he was like after he gave me my accounts back he was like please don't block me after this like i still want to talk to you i'm like oh my god why is this the weirdest situation i have ever been in in my life the only thing they changed was my username they put like a13 in front of my username which I don't know, I think that was just to make it like harder for me to get back into my account, which this person made it impossible to get back into my accounts. Like I tried every single Instagram hacked login thing. Like I tried to send a video of myself in, it kept failing. I don't know if I said this a couple days ago. And then I tried to do the thing where you can like request two of your friends to help you get back into your account if you get locked out and they never got requests until I logged into my account. It was like the weirdest thing, so I don't know what kind of knowledge this person has, but I'm like, you're freaking smart, dude. Like, how in the world did you do that? I also blame Instagram because it's like, how is it that easy for someone to hack into my account, but it's not that easy to get someone out of my account? I'm like, make it make sense. I can't change my username back until it's like after 14 days or something so hopefully I can change my names back because if not that's gonna be super annoying but I'm just glad everything is okay <sighs> I just feel so much better I slept so good last night I actually started this vlog on Thursday and that's when I got or was it Thursday or Wednesday I think it was Thursday and that's when I got hacked into my accounts and I just stopped vlogging because I'm like <laughs> I was dealing with it all day I was literally bawling my eyes out for hours it was it was not fun but everything is good I am gonna get up it's a sunny day today it's supposed to be nice crisp weather today it's only gonna be like 63 degrees and it's gonna be sunny so it's gonna feel just like fall today so I'm gonna get up open my shades and start my Sunday get so much sunlight in here it's honestly amazing my candle this one smells so good it's pumpkin coconut from sand and fog i still have so many fall candles that i need to go through and it's like already october so i need to be burning these like all the time so i can get to my christmas ones once it's november which you guys are gonna think i'm a psycho they just make me so happy like i really can't explain it and if you're a candle lover then you know i just made myself some avocado toast with that bread that i showed you finally my avocado was a little bit ripe and then i just have some berries i'm gonna watch some gilmore girls this morning because it's sunday morning it's so hard to see because of the reflection but i'm on season four episode 11 so hopefully i'm trying to get through this as much as i can because i just want to be finished with it I had the worst dream about Cheeto last night. It was so sad. I have to bring him to the vet on Monday, tomorrow. So I think that's why I was thinking about this. But he had to be put under like anesthesia for some reason. They were doing like an operation or something. I don't even know why. And all of a sudden he just started like spazzing out and they thought he was going to die. Oh my God, it was like the worst dream ever. I woke up at like four because he always wakes me up to feed him wet food. And I was like hugging and kissing him and I was like, I can't lose you ever. Like he is my whole entire world. He's like my child. And it just made me so sad and appreciate him so much more. Cause sometimes I get so annoyed with him cause he just acts like a psycho and he'll knock stuff over. He'll run around, crash into things. It's so scary how dreams feel so real. I woke up and thought that was so real. And then when you want something to be a dream and it's not real, that sucks too like i remember the morning after i found out my instagram was hacked i thought it was a dream and then i was like oh that actually happened 
I got some packages in the mail yesterday. This one is the winter collection from Nut Pods. I'm excited to try these creamers. There's pumpkin spice, peppermint mocha, and holiday nog. I'm so excited. This makes me so excited for Christmas. I have so many creamers from them in my fridge. It's insane. I should probably give some to my mom. Hello, Cheeto. Then I got this journal, not this journal. This is, it's like a book and journal, which I actually already have this, but they sent me over another one. It's called Choose Joy by Sophie Cliff. And then she also just came out with these self-care little cards that you can read every day, which are really cute. My most exciting package, I got the Rode um, new tinted lip peptide treatments. I, I don't even know the proper name for those. I got all four shades, so I'm gonna try them out right now. If you're thinking about getting them, so I can see what they look like. I'm gonna take a picture though, because they're so cute. I'm just gonna start with the darkest one first. Honestly, this one is in the shade Espresso. I love how they changed the packaging of these two because if you initially bought Road like when they first launched the packaging would like peel It was the weirdest thing. So they changed That which is really nice. I'm like afraid <laughs> I like how it's not super Pigmented which I guess it wouldn't be because it's called a lip tint She got I thought I wasn't gonna like it, but that's actually really pretty. I like that. They don't have a scent to them either. They're just, they don't really smell like anything. So they must be unscented, but that's espresso. Next, I'm gonna do raspberry jelly. I love that name. I personally don't like shades like these that much. I don't know, I feel like it doesn't look that good on me. See, Cheeto's running around like a freaking psycho right now, but I I don't know, I like it, but I don't know, I feel like it doesn't look that good on me, but it's so cute for fall if you're into... Do you hear him right now? Next, I'm gonna do Toast. This was the one that I was most excited for, and I feel like this is like the most popular. And I love me like a neutral pinky shade. This one honestly just looks like my natural lip color, so it's kind of hard to tell, but I already like it. It just gives your lips a little bit of color, and I think this one is going to be my favorite because it's just super neutral. And then last, we have Ribbon. So that one's Ribbon. I feel like it's pretty similar, actually, to Toast, but obviously this one's more on the pinkier side. I actually don't mind it. That's actually really pretty. I know there's a lot of questions, too, whether like these are better than summer fridays part of me wants to say the road lip peptide treatments are better only because they last longer and i feel like for the summer fridays i feel like i'm always reapplying that throughout the day and it doesn't last that long like i feel like i can eat drink do whatever with these on and they'll still be on my lips but the summer fridays one i feel like i find myself applying it a lot more so if you're thinking about trying them i do really like them i think the formula is really good, there's no scent to them, and they're just nice to have for a little something on your lips. Very happy about this purchase. I just got ready for my day. Usually on a Sunday, I don't get ready and like put on makeup and like actually try with my outfit, but I haven't gotten ready in a few days and it's just been making me feel kind of blast. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get ready this morning, put on a cute outfit, even if I'm Literally, I'm not going anywhere. I kind of want to go to Starbucks again though and get a pumpkin chai because I still have some gift card left. I just wake up, crave it every single morning. It's so good and it's been so good every single day. Sometimes it doesn't taste as good, but the past few times I've gone, it's like perfect. So I'm just throwing on some earrings. I just put on my glow screen and like a little bit of blush. Actually, it's not even blush. It's one of these Jones Road little lip tint things. And I put it on my cheeks as blush and I actually really like it. It's super pretty. It's in the shade Nude Rose. I think it was this one. I have two here. Um, actually, no, it was this one. It was called Just Pink. Just Pinky is the name. And then this one is Nude Rose. 
but I've been getting back into using my glow screen because I just love the way that it makes my skin look like this is what I've been using and I just I don't know it makes me feel super glowy it makes my skin look healthy and then my outfit this cardigan I got in my last vlog at Abercrombie and then these jeans as well which I know I'm wearing jeans on a Sunday that is so unlike me but like I said just with the whole Instagram thing it's it was stressing me out for days. I just felt so discombobulated, didn't feel like myself. And whenever I just put a cute outfit on and actually get ready for my day, it just makes me feel so much better. I also put in that new claw clip from J. Crew. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's like freezing in my car right now. It's 57 out, but my car is so cold. Oh my gosh. I brought my, um, espresso lip peptide treatment with me I'm actually very into this shade I think it's actually really pretty you can also build it up too which is nice I'm loving these oh my gosh I'm so happy I decided to get them so that's your sign to grab them if you were debating on getting them or not but it's 10 42 I'm gonna get myself another pumpkin chai I'm just I just want to use my gift card up, honestly, and they've been really good these past few days. And also I'm going to run, ooh, I just hit my steering wheel. Um, I'm going to run into Target because I need more hangers. I have so many clothes just laying on my floor because I went through my closet the other day and sold some stuff on Poshmark and I realized I need more hangers. I should probably hurry up because Starbucks is probably going to be so crowded right now. I ended up getting the red pepper egg bites which I haven't gotten in so long I'm kind of really hungry this morning and then of course my pumpkin chai I don't know what it is but the past few days it's been so good like so flavorful if that makes sense I also was thinking about um, a lot of your guys' comments on my last vlog, which thank you so much. I was talking about in my last vlog how my Nana is moving into independent living, which it's like finalized, she's actually moving, and I've kind of come to terms with it, but it's also still really sad, and obviously I want the best for her, and I want her to be happy, and as her granddaughter, I'm gonna worry about those things, but I really just want her to be happy, and if this is what's going to make her happy, then I'll be happy for her because she means the world to me and I love her so much but I just want to say thank you to everyone who was commenting you guys are so sweet and I just appreciate your kind words so so much and it made me cry to read some of them because it's just like so nice to know that you guys actually care and I'm not just sharing really vulnerable moments of my life for no reason so thank you for your really sweet comments I really appreciate it I haven't had these in so long. Why are they so yummy? I really want to clean my apartment today and vacuum, mop, wipe down the counters. I've been really putting that off because I've just been so stressed and just trying to catch up on everything and I really need to do that today. It's a Sunday so I just want to have a really nice and clean, fresh space for my week. So this is my motivation to do that this morning. I also have to record a podcast which I've been so discombobulated that I haven't even planned a podcast and it's Sunday, it goes live tomorrow. I really hate getting off schedule with things, but I honestly just might either post it on Tuesday or just skip this week, which the week before last week, I skipped the week because I just needed some time to myself and I hate not posting on time. It gives me a lot of anxiety and I know a lot of you wait every single week for the episodes and so... When I don't have one, it just makes me feel anxious. But these past few days have been like hell trying to get my Instagram back and everything. So I don't know, I just have like so much stuff to catch up on. And what I also forgot about was that if you delete the Instagram app, all of your saved drafts, like your reels, will be deleted. So all of my drafts for companies that I had to post that were like approved and everything was good to go I have to like redo everything because everything got deleted because I was deleting Instagram to see if that would help like try to get me logged back in but it just like wasn't working so now I have to like catch up on all of that stuff as well 
there's just been so much anxiety lately i don't know what is going on in the world are you guys feeling super stressed because i feel like for the past like two weeks two to three weeks i've just been like so stressed <laughs> It's 4.30, I just made myself like a really late lunch slash early dinner. I just did the Trader Joe's mandarin chicken because I don't feel like cooking today really and this is just so easy to make and I just did arugula salad. But it feels so nice to have a clean apartment. I've been putting it off for so long and just like everything going on, I feel like my mind has just been all over the place. So I have fresh bed sheets for tonight. My kitchen's all nice and clean. I'm gonna make the cornbread after I eat my food. Cheeto, of course, has to come and join me. No, you cannot eat my food, sorry. I didn't even end up going to Target. My Nana ended up calling me because she needed me to help her move some boxes. So I just went over there, but I'm so hungry. I haven't been eating that well the past few days either because I've been so stressed. And you know when you're just so anxious and you just don't want food that was me and now i'm like starving <laughs> why do you need to stare at me when i eat like is that necessary i'm gonna do the cornbread now i was gonna do muffins but i don't know it doesn't really say on here like the temperature to put it on to why am i talking like i have no idea what i'm saying right now i'm just gonna put it in a bread loaf pan because I don't want to burn them, God forbid, so I just greased this little baking bread dish from our place. How cute. Mixing bowl, and I need one egg, oil, and then some milk. I'm just gonna use my oat milk, so I don't have regular milk, so hopefully it tastes just as good. I haven't had cornbread in so long, so I'm very excited. I've never tried this either from Trader Joe's. Oh my god, there's actually pieces of corn in here. I probably sound so dumb, but I've just never had cornbread or like cornbread muffins where there's like pieces of corn in it. So I was just very confused. <laughs> shower while that cornbread is in the oven because I put on some self tanner this morning so I just want to wash that off before I get into my freshly washed white sheets because that wouldn't be good so I'm just doing my nighttime skincare right now I got a new bottle of this Osea Hyaluronic C serum this is one of my favorite serums of all time Did I say I took a body shower? I meant for it to be a body shower and then I realized I was washing my hair but I didn't want to so I just washed it anyways. 
but it's fine because now I'm all nice and clean. I don't know what I did, but it's like so crumbly. I don't think I mixed it well enough because I was reading the box after I put it in the oven and it said to mix it well for like two to three minutes, which I definitely did not do. So I don't think the oil got mixed that well. So it's like super crumbly, but it's still really good. I'm just eating it with a fork off of a paper towel. Like how appetizing is that? I just made the bed and put fresh clean sheets on. I'm gonna edit and do computer work, plan my week out, all the fun stuff. So I'm just gonna be chilling in bed for the rest of the night and do some editing, catch up on work. I have so much to do that I need to catch up on because of the whole Instagram hacking thing. So I need to make sure I write everything down so I don't forget. But it's seven o'clock now, just a chill Sunday night for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.